Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Tower of Courage. In the last episode, I got to where the amulet is, but then I got carried off by a very quickly moving invisible wall master. I also, in the last two episodes actually, I did uh, experimentation with face cam. I'm back to the old setup because I don't know yet how the reception is on it. Okay. Ah, jeez, I almost made it. Alright, well, I unlocked the shortcut now. The shortcut I should have unlocked before. But now it's unlocked, so... Yeah. But yeah, it was kind of cool to experiment with face cam. And, uh... I'll see how, how you guys react to that. If you like it, like I said, I, I have no problem with keeping up with it. And then, if it turns into a big enough thing, I... Might even get a camera? I don't know. Well, I probably won't do that. Ah, shoot. Gotta go up this way. I want to spend as little time in this horrible atmosphere as I can. Oof, especially when there's risk of losing my shield so easily. Glad I, I am glad that I unlocked this shortcut. Much quicker. Kind of, re it almost kind of reduces the punishment of being carried off by the like or the um, wall master. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to think of how to make it harder, but all right. Ah, oh, jeez, even there. Wow. Okay. Very annoying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Try this again. And yet he didn't even come out that time. Gotcha that time. I like my mo my money in my pockets. Thank you very much. Go. Ooh, that's not good for that. The amulet. Now I can see invisible enemies. Yay! It's not. I don't know if it's really a mandatory thing. It's just more of a comf uh, comfort thing. Like yay! I can see the invisible enemies. All right. So now I've pretty much seen everything. I, I can, I've seen everything there is to see. So now I'm gonna head back to, well, not really head back, just head off to, well, oh, that was a little bit scary, the center of this place, the actual building portion. But it was really interesting to try face cam, like actually the act of rigging up a camera and all that. That was kind of, that was kind of interesting. I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than I thought I would. I mean, being someone who... I can't even see what's going on. Someone who's not uh, not all that comfortable putting myself out there, that was actually kind of a big step. So, especially considering I had my camera in a way that I, I could see myself. Yeah, I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. When I when we started this YouTube cha channel, me, uh, or Jason, Tyler, and I, Titanium Man, Jupy, and I, I kind of was telling myself I probably wouldn't go this far into YouTube. Honestly, 
with this channel, I don't know if I've said it before. Can I kill these guys? I never thought that... Um... Like, I never thought I'd actually, like, be legit on YouTube. I just thought maybe I'd, for fun, record some of my gameplay uh, of the games I already play. But it's becoming a little bit more real now, now that we have 38 subscribers. Yeah, for some reason we keep gaining one and losing one. I don't really understand that. Uh, but actually, if you go down this way... But yeah, I'm, it's becoming more real now that uh, I've got actual subscribers, and I actually have people that that uh, like we're getting more comments on videos, and I just feel like we're generally being watched more, which is pretty cool. We're currently at about 8,500 views for the channel. Yeah, that's weird. It's very weird. Also, that's a 150 rupee potion. That's pretty nice. Okay, I want to get myself in a good position here. Whoa, sword beans don't work on him. But yeah, it's it's really cool, and uh, especially especially considering I was watching some of my Isle of Rebirth videos. Which, it's it's very amazing, because when I first made those videos, and like, even after the first month uh, that I was doing them, the total view, like, the average views I'd have on those videos are probably like one to two, maybe five views. I go back and I see some still with that li little amount of views, but also seeing some, like my, my first one, which had... I think it has like 80 80 or so now 85 maybe which is amazing I that blew my mind a little bit okay what do I what What do I do here? I mean, I know what I'm doing here, but... I can't push these any other way. Oh, hold on, I can push that. That changes things. Could I do... Okay, so I can only push these in this way. Maybe this... Oh, I see what this little thing is. Ah, interesting. That's pretty cool. But yeah, after watching them, it's just like, like especially now that I've got Moosh, uh, he's found the channel and he's been sticking around, which is really cool. Uh, I've also gotten Evan's attention. He's watched some of my Umbro Cloud streams, which is pretty cool. And the big key. And I don't know if any of the other big Zelda Classic people have watched. Um, Red Mage Adam I've talked to a little bit. Uh, Melee Wizard. I, I don't think he's even checked us out. I don't think he knows about us. I don't know. It's still really cool that I'm in the community now, especially on my posts on the Pure CC. Uh, yeah, no way are we, like, really big, but it's really cool to see how far we've come, considering this YouTube channel started as a joke. Anyway. Boss time. A pretty cool image, although I don't really understand that black box on the bottom. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, that's what I do. I mean, I knew I had to use a whistle, but I didn't know that that would be the end of it. Alright, so it's official that that doesn't work. I'm actually thinking I'm going to save... Just smack the crap out of him. 
I've also, oh, not to mention, I've also been talking to Pixcalibur, which was really cool. That was really cool. He watched a lot of my Flow of Time videos. Like, he was there on my streams. Which is really cool. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that I've been getting involved. Cool, boss. And that... Oh yeah, I forgot I get a fish. But anyway, that was level 6. A very, very short dungeon. Wow, yeah. That took the equivalent of 30 minutes. Well done. I'm collecting the sixth fragment. Not much longer before you have collected the remaining two. The next fragment is located in the frozen tundra called the Abyssal Mountains in the far northeastern region. And that's all he has to say. Alright, so that was level six and only 11 minutes into the video. So, got a lot of stuff I can still do here. Yep, okay. So, let's see. The only thing I got out of there was the amulet. I also have a fish, which I can't really do anything with. I forget. What was in here? Oh, expensive potions. Okay. I have a lot of money in my pockets. And I have that to bomb. So I'm going to also do, I'm going to do this because I'm also going to go to the tower. I beat level 6, meaning I can now go through the 6th floor. I actually remember what the 6th floor is, which is pretty cool. I remember some of it. I mean, you have the amulet, so that already tells you that you're going to see invisible enemies. I'm going to grab... Yeah, let's just do two. Because I know I'm going to use at least one, and then I have another one as backup. Uh, I need two heart pieces. I just wanted to check that. Also, I'm curious what's on this side. I don't remember it being anything, but kind of hard to check. Yeah, I don't think it's anything. Yeah, figured as much. Into the tower we go. Can't get over how good this music is. Alright, so... Ah, shoot. I'm going this way. I've also got the floppy fish. Oops. Bump the mic. Hopefully that won't be too annoying. One thing cool about the tower is it gets darker the higher up you go. At least I feel like it does. What's this? Is it darker? I feel like it is a little bit. Well, maybe not. I like the atmosphere, though. It looks cool. So yeah, these guys would normally be invisible. So... That's where, like I was saying, the amulet... You don't really need it, but it certainly helps. Ooh, stronger bats. Also, uh, apparently there's a floor here. I didn't even, I honestly didn't even know. I just kind of went out. Can I go this way? Oh, I can, okay. But yeah, the amulet doesn't have any like major function. Like, oh, you can't progress without it. It's just kind of a help. I mean, it certainly does help with the invisible bosses. 
but that's annoying. I don't want to grab that yet. I want to kill you! Thank you. Alright, so, what's this way? Alright, so this guy is a hook shot. When in doubt, try the hook shot. I wanna take care of these bats. Oh, you stupid bat. Protecting your Petra like that. Petra pals. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Weird stuff. Oh, I've also talk, talked to Top Kirby, which is cool. It's cool that I've, I first heard of all these guys from... Uh, uh, Melee Wizard, Top Kirby, Pixcalibur, and SC Knuckles, another guy who I've talked to. They all did a randomizer race, which I, I loved watching. That, that was really cool to watch. They did that years ago. Oh boy. Now this is actually a lot easier than it seems. Well, not when they do that, though. They're not cooperating. I guess I'll just get down and dirty with these guys. There, now they can't shoot at me. Money! Yay! Okay, moving on. Let's see what's over here. Just a bunch of bats, apparently. Ah, no, okay, a single rupee. I guess that's better? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, the bigger threat here is certainly this one. I am stuck. I am actually stuck. Okay, so... I have not been able to get through this room without using a potion. Let's see if I can top that. Yeah, now this is just a normal patch of three and I keep getting stuck. Ooh, wow, I really rolled the edge there. Yeah, the major difference between uh, Patra's, Patra 3's fire at you like that. Wow. I barely got through that without using a potion. But I didn't. That's what matters. So, okay, can't do anything here. Except I can get out of the danger zone with health. Oof. Okay. Yeah, um, how, or, um, uh, fall break is coming up next week. Uh, it is currently, well, basically, our, our fall break is the, the 20th, so I'll be at home. I don't know if I'll be recording any episodes. So, yeah, the point of me telling you this is I don't think I'll be doing episodes next weekend. So... Basically, what I'm recording now is all you guys will have. Yeah, I'll actually be caught up and, like, there won't be as much of a gap between record and upload. Because as of now, there's a pretty big gap. Although, actually, not anymore. I've kind of caught up. So, okay. This is actually a very interesting puzzle. I kind of remember, I think I remember how to get through it. So, you do this, uh, you push that there push that there but oh no can't push those I thought 
I actually thought you could push that. Okay. Shoot, I don't remember. Also, as punishment, these guys apparently spawn every time. Maybe you do push that ice statue, just you have to do it first, since timing does apparently matter. He is looking down. Maybe I have to hit him with an eye, with an arrow. Oh, okay, so I was right. About pushing the statue. So, did you do something, or? Okay then. Please tell me you unlocked this. What did it do? <laughs> wow, that disables your sword for longer than I remember. Ah, shoot. Well, I don't see what that did, though. is running a little long because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Just want to save time. Oops. It... Doing, doing that unlocks something, but I don't know what it unlocked. Let me look in here again. See what that unlocks. Get through the door. Huh. I honestly don't know what that did. I am missing a key. I kinda don't want to end this episode until I get this item. Well, I guess I'm going to have to because it's really long and I'm really tired and I don't want to play anymore right now. I don't know what that unlocked. I guess I'll, I'll just look everywhere and see if I find something. But until then, this has been Death Rider and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.